Hi, Best Buds. It's Kathy with Kathy's Garden, and I'm so happy that you joined me today. Today, we're going to make vintage-style index cards. But first, let's have our shout-out to Pam, Cheryl, Paula, Rachel, Nancy, Diane's Designs, Kelly, and Janice. I appreciate each and every one of you. I have some digitals, and these are from digitalcollage.com club or digitalcollage.com or digital collage club I'm not sure which way but it is a subscription based um, I'm not affiliated with it but that's where I purchased these from and I printed them out onto cardstock and then I coffee dyed the back now this one has coffee dyed on the front it just got on it uh, on my glass mat I like that look and those are where those came from and these right here are postcards that are from my porch prints let's go ahead and let's make a couple of these so let's start with this one right here so I just have some lace I have some sorry silk I have some buttons that I've gone ahead and I've put some thread through them and I've tied my little knot on the top I have some net cut in rectangles and I have a few flat cotton pieces that I frayed the edges which are also in rectangles. I have a little bit of coffee dyed paper. I've glued the two pieces together so that I can make some more tabs to go on the top to make it indexy looking. So let's begin. So what I want to do first is <clears throat> I kind of want to get a feel of where I'm going to put this. So I'm going to grab one of my nets, which is a, a rectangle, and I'm just going to place it on here. I think maybe, maybe something like that. I'm going to get one of my cotton pieces, and let's lay that on there as well. Maybe more over to the side like this. All right, let's go ahead and let's let's get this place down. I'm using my hot glue because it's quick and easy for a video. You can use whatever glue that you choose. It will be just fine and perfect for what we're doing. So a little bit of glue on the corners. Okay. I didn't glue the whole thing down. I just kind of what I would call tacking it down. And I'm going to lay this on here too. Now this hot glue, it dries so quickly that it's best if I just do the corners and then lay it down. It seems to work better for me that way because it dries so very quickly. Okay, whoops. <laughs> and then I'm going to do a little bit of glue right there. Okay, so now we look like this. Got our piece glued on there. Now let's go ahead and take a little bit of lace here. Let me find the end. And I'm just going to lay it on here to kind of judge where I need to trim and I'm thinking maybe about right here so let's give it a trim and there is a right and a wrong this is the right side so I'm going to go ahead and tack this down once again by just pulling up the edge and putting some glue on there just like that and once again on the other side so we're just taking just basic little cards so if maybe you have one that has a botanical look to it you don't have to have one that has a lady on it and of course um, you could have a postcard we'll make one of those as well now I could put three on there it seems to be kind of tight but I like it I like the way that looks so I think before I glue that down I would like to put a little bit more lace on here so I've got a little bit of lace that looks like this and I'm thinking maybe a little on the side so I'm just going to put my glue right on the edge and then just lay this right on the top right on the top of it and give it a little trim here and then a trim on the other side. There we go. Oh, that's looking so pretty. Now I've got this sorry silk that I I have 
from my friend over in Crimson Heart Studio. I will list that down below in case you want to grab a little bit of Sorry Silk. She has all different colors and they're so beautiful and different widths too. Okay, so I'm just going to gather this up. I'm just placing it on one side. I just, I just feel like it just needs maybe just one side. And then I'm going to trim this. Get it over here like this. Okay, I'm going to make sure I've anchored this down well. A little bit more glue there. And maybe trim it right here to anchor that down. And that's how we're looking. Oh, isn't that sweet? That is so sweet. Now let's go back to our buttons. And let's place our buttons right on here. And I do like that one. I think I want these buttons. I don't think I want to change them out for a different button. This one's a smaller button. No, I like this bigger one because they're all fairly good size. So as you can see, I just put the thread through it and I just tied a little knot and then trimmed off the edge. And I trimmed off thread the width of the button itself. That's how I determined how to what length to leave the little strings on it. And I'm hoping that's placed in the correct, placed it correctly, I'm hoping. There we go. Oh, that's adorable. I love that. It's so vintage. Now, I have one that's already punched out, one of my tabs that I use my tab punch. And let's go ahead and let's just glue it right on to my little card here. Just like that. We're just going to glue it over to this side. And there you have it. Isn't that cute? Now I'm going to add it to the two that I have already made. And let's grab a postcard. I'm not sure which one I'm liking the best. So let's first just kind of play around to see maybe what we want to do here um, i'm liking this one it's work i see that it i can get it worked up fairly quickly so i've laid my net down first and i'm just going to tack it once again on my four corners just by adding a tiny bit of glue on each corner and then just laying it over the glue so that it grabs a hold. There we go. Now I'm going to grab a little bit of material. And do I want it that way or do I want it this way? I think I want to do it this way because I want a little bit more of that net showing. And I'm just going to tack it down just like this. And let's tack down the other side. Is that enough glue on that one corner? I'm not sure. I want to add a little bit more glue. I didn't get very much on there. Okay. Now I'm going to add my heavier piece of lace on here. There's the end. I'm just going to kind of measure it to see where I need to trim it. Now I'm just laying this lace. I want it to lay on my my fabric, not my net. So there we are. It's right within my fabric. This glue is stuck to my finger and that's why things keep pulling up on me. So I'm just going to add my glue onto the lace and press it down and turn it around. Let's do the same over here. Okay, press it down. I'm, I think that's working out well. Now, where would I like my little bit of lace to go? Do I want to go right on the top? I have to also remember that we want to put a tab in there. So let's go ahead and punch that tab out. That. Once again, I just glued two pieces, doubled my 
coffee dyed paper. I doubled it and I glued it together and that's how I got this weight. So It's not real real stiff but it's not flimsy either. And I love the color with it. So I'm looking. I don't know if I want it right here on my stamp. How would it be if I put it on the side and made it a a side, a side pull, like I could pull it in and out on the side, or I could do like this. Okay, I'm thinking here. Let's do it that way. That's just something different. So I'm going to add my glue onto my tab, get that shut, and let's just look at that again. Now I want it over here, maybe about right there. I'm just going to straighten it up a little bit and press it. I like that. And do I want just a little bit of lace on here or maybe a little bit on the side or on the bottom? No, I like it on the side. So once again, I'm just going to take my glue and run a strip of glue on the end and lay my lace directly on it and press it down. Now my lace came through the, the holes but I can just brush it off and it'll release itself just like that. There we go. Now I'm just going to trim right here and trim right here. That was kind of jagged trim but <laughs> it'll be okay. Alrighty, so let me bring in my sari again. Now where would I like to put my sari? Do I want it on the bottom? Do I want a little bit right here at the top? No, it kind of seems to need a little bit of weight right down here. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to attach it right on the bottom. Now I'm just adding a little bit of glue. Now usually I do it with a card. But today I'm just going to lay it on top and push it just like that. And it just doesn't really pleat it. It kind of, it's, I don't know the word I'm looking for. It doesn't pleat it. It just, it almost looks like it, um, oh, what's that thing that my mother used to make? Seersucker? Is that the word I want? The style is pretty, um, it's coming around again, where I've seen a lot of dresses that have it, and a lot of tops. It's very puckered, and um, I don't know, it kind of seems, seems like I'm going around in circles here. But I'm just taking my finger, and I'm just pushing it. Now you could do this with fabric tack. You could do it with hot glue. I'm going to lift it up again so you can see what it looks like. They're smaller. Maybe the word that I'm looking for is just to say they're smaller little tucks. They're not large defined tucks. And they're not equally spaced by any imagination. They're just, they're just kind of smushed on there. And I really like the look. I think that looks really pretty. So let's select our buttons to go on here. So let's see, what do we want? That's a pretty color. The buttons are different colors. Can you see? They're all different. And they all have a little different look. So just pick the ones that you think go nicely together and, and that go nice with what you're working with. I kind of like that. I like those colors. I'm going to just place two this time on here. And I'm just going to add my glue right onto the back of my button and then simply place it on top of my lace right here. And that's how that looks. I think that looks beautiful and it's very much a vintage style. So let's look at the ones that I've already made. Now we made these two together. So sweet, similar, but yet different. Then I made this one right here. This is also a postcard, but it's a little different. And then this one here 
is from the digitalcollage.com subscription. Isn't that, that was just beautiful. I love that one. You guys, I hope that you have enjoyed this video. And if you have, please give me a thumbs up. I invite you to subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you in my next video. I'll see you there, guys. Bye now.